Till now we have solved many problems on calculation of equivalent resistance and now we are going to solve our problem number one on calculation of equivalent capacitance and in the first problem we are required to find the equivalent capacitance between the nodes A and B. When you look at the given network you will find this node here is the node A and this node here is the node B. So we are required to calculate the equivalent capacitance C sub AB in this network and I will suggest you to pause the video for a while and analyze the given network. Now upon analysis it is clear that we are not getting direct series or parallel combination between the capacitors and therefore we will look for the equipotential points. Let's say this node is node C therefore this node will be node C as well and this point here will have the same potential as C. Now we will reconstruct our network from the scratch. This is node A, this is node B and this one here is our node C. Between A and B we have 10 microfarad capacitor. So let us connect one capacitor having the value 10 microfarad and uh, I will not write down microfarad along with the capacitor values because upon calculation of equivalent capacitance we will have its value in microfarad only. So I will save some time and also our network will look neat and clean. So we are done with this 10 microfarad capacitor. Let's move on to the remaining capacitors. Between A and C we have 3 microfarad capacitor and between B and C we have another 3 microfarad capacitor. So let us connect one capacitor between A and C having the value 3 microfarad and we will connect one more 3 microfarad capacitor but this time we will connect it between B and C. In this way we are done with these two capacitors. Now we will move on to these 1 microfarad capacitors we are having in the bottom. Between A and C we have 1 microfarad capacitor and between B and C we have another 1 microfarad capacitor. So between A and C we will have 1 microfarad capacitor and between C and B also we have 1 microfarad capacitor and in this way we are done with all the 5 capacitors we have in the network. Now it is clear that these two capacitors are in parallel and these two capacitors are in parallel and in parallel connection the capacitance values of the capacitors are added. So 1 plus 3 will give us 4 microfarad and therefore we will have one single capacitor in place of them having the value 4 microfarad and the same thing will happen in this case also 1 plus 3 equal to 4 microfarad capacitance. So in the next step we will modify our network between A and B we have 10 microfarad capacitor and between A and C we have one capacitor having the value 4 microfarad and between C and B we have one capacitor having the value 4 microfarad. Now you can see that these two capacitors are in series and therefore we can have a single capacitor having the value 4 multiplied to 4 divided by 4 plus 4 which is 2. So in the next step we have two capacitors connected in parallel between A node and B node. The first capacitor is having the value 10 microfarad and the second capacitor is having the value 2 microfarad 
and we know in parallel connection the values of capacitors are added therefore our answer will be 10 microfarad plus 2 microfarad which is equal to 12 microfarad so this is our answer the capacitance c sub a b so i hope the problem was clear to you and now we will move on to the homework problem and i have two homework problems and in both the homework problems you are required to calculate the equivalent capacitance between the terminals a and b terminal a and terminal b so calculate c sub a b in both the problems and once you have your answer post it in comment section